Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog. I'm so excited to be vlogging. I've been getting really into watching vlogs lately and it just really inspired me to want to start my own vlog videos, like weekly maybe, week in my life type vlogs because I have the most interesting life ever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't have a crazy interesting life. I actually probably have a pretty relatable life. So I've been really loving like Tori De Simone's vlogs, Brooke Michio. She's also from Boston like me. And so I'm going to start trying this out. Of course, I want to know in the comments down below if you like vlogs, if you want to see more vlogs. And so today is Thursday, November 21st, and I'm actually on my lunch break right now. So what you might not know about me is that I work a corporate job. I work full time. It's not even like a full time nine to five corporate job. It's like a eight to six probably. I travel a lot for it. I'm so new and awkward at vlogging. There's like a car that just pulled up to me and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to shut it off. <laughs> but okay, I'm back. So I'm actually on my lunch break right now because I did something today that I never do. This is so unlike me but I forgot my lunchbox at home. So that's an excuse to go to my favorite lunch spot. Where are you? There you are. Simple Greek. It's like a Chipotle, but for Greek food, you can do a wrap, you can do a bowl. I always get a bowl. And it's kind of embarrassing when I go in there because they know me, I go so often. But I'm really excited to go get that. I do intermittent fasting, which means I go 16 hours without eating until, and then you have like an eight hour eating window. I've been doing that for about two months. I haven't really seen crazy results with it, but that's what I do. So now it's lunchtime, which means I'm really hungry because I haven't eaten yet today because of the intermittent fasting. I also need to go pick up ingredients for a cookie dough cheesecake, which I'm going to be making either tonight or tomorrow for a friend's giving. So I'll show you that. Okay, I just want you guys to see what I'm dealing with. It looks like I'm filming in the pitch black because I am, but it's not even six o'clock. You can see this is my car dashboard. There's the time and it's pitch black out. Oh, and also it's 37 degrees out, which is actually not that cold for these days. I'll take 37 degrees. Also, I'm listening to the morning toast. Let me know if you are a toaster. <laughs> okay, so spending my Thursday night getting a little wild and crazy. <laughs> no, I'm going to be baking that cookie dough cheesecake. So I've got my ingredients here. I'm not planning to vlog me making it because it's a BuzzFeed Tasty recipe that I follow. So I'll just put in the description down below the link to the BuzzFeed Tasty article because they have the best videos, you know, those really quick, they make it look so satisfying and easy to follow videos of how to make this that Tasty does. So if you wanna see a video on how to make this cookie dough, just watch that video. I'm sure it's gonna be better than mine. Whenever I try and make cooking videos, I really mess up, like spill things. It's a, it's a mess. If something does happen, that would have been kind of funny to get on a vlog, but maybe if I'm not filming it, I won't have any crazy disasters. <laughs> I'll keep you posted. I'll also show you the finished results. I did it. It looks really good. So now I'm gonna put it in the oven. It has to cook for a whole hour, which is kind of surprising for a cheesecake because some cheesecakes are no bake, but this one is extra long bake, but it's worth it. So truly one of my favorite ways to unwind after my long days is to film my YouTube videos of trying out new makeup products. So I just got BoxyCharm in the mail for the first time and I'm really excited about the products that I got. So I'm really excited to just sit down. You can see I'm in my filming room now and I'm gonna play around with the makeup that I got and that just really helps me just move on from what happened earlier in the day, just 
unwind from work and just it makes me so happy every time I film and I play with makeup. I think I'm filming day like 660 today of trying a new makeup product every day and I'm not getting tired of it. There are still so many more products that I want to try out. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm sure that you'll see these videos that I'm filming right now in my channel. They probably have already gone up by now. I'm having so much fun vlogging that I feel like everything that happens to me I need to vlog about. And so I just want to shout out to this right here. This was one of the best gifts I ever got. My dad got it for me for Christmas last year. And when I got it, I was like, oh, cute, but it didn't seem like it was something that I needed. But then I started using it right away, but it's like a wallet. You can fit so much in here. I would keep things zipped up in here. I have a peanut allergy, so I also kept my EpiPens back here, and then I had a little wristlet, so this was perfect. I just brought it everywhere with me. I even had clipped my key onto it, and today it unfortunately broke. You can see it was ripping. And I was so sad that it broke, but you know, now I'm vlogging, so I get to talk about what happened to me. But basically the zipper fell off, so there's no way I can fix it unless I like replace the zipper. But now I don't know what I'm going to be using as my daily wallet, carry-all, EpiPen carrier, whatever. So if you have any recommendations for good little wristlet wallets, well, let me know. This one, it's not actually Vera Bradley. It's like a Vera Bradley lookalike. So I wonder if the real Vera Bradley makes any. Let me know. Okay, so my cheesecake is not being very photogenic, but <laughs> here it is. It came out of the oven. It looks like it cooked the way it's supposed to. <laughs> now I just have to refrigerate it for a very long time. It says to refrigerate it overnight. So I hope everyone will like it. <laughs> the Friendsgiving that I'm going to is with a group of friends that I have never really hung out with before. So you better help me make friends, Mr. Cheesecake. <laughs> so it's pretty late right now. It's 8.35. <laughs> See, I told you I had a really exciting life. No, so this is about the time that I like to get in bed every night, and I've got my weighted blanket here. These are seriously like the best inventions. But so, I wake up every morning at 4.45 to go to the gym, and that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow morning, waking up at 4.45. On Fridays, it's a spin class, and it's like my favorite spin class, so I am excited for that in the morning. But I try and go to sleep early because I still like to get like eight hours of sleep if I can. But yay, my first day of vlogging was so much fun. I am hoping that I'll keep up with this. I hope that it's interesting. Good morning, it's Friday. Oh, I'm so happy it's Friday. I just got back from my spin class. It was a good class. It was a whole playlist of artists from Massachusetts. So it's great to start off my Friday with a good workout. And it's a little after 6 a.m. So I have a little over an hour to shower, get ready before going to work. The first thing that I always do is make my coffee. Oh, there's my coffee pot right there. My very modest coffee pot, but that's what I do every morning. So since I do intermittent fasting, I'll just make a, not even a full pot, just a little bit of black coffee. And I have organic coffee grinds. So I got these new sunglasses. I don't really know how I feel about them. Let me know what you think. <laughs> just kidding. I have these sunglasses on because I'm doing this laser hair removal treatment. I just started it. I really don't know. Oh, hey, messy makeup. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work. I've tried one of these in the past, a different brand. It did nothing for me. And then I signed up for an actual laser hair removal place. I paid so much money. I went the probably for like two years. I followed the schedule of like every six weeks or whatever it is. That did nothing for me. 
and I would tell the lady every time I'm like I'm not seeing results and she would turn it up and it did nothing for me except for kind of bruise my underarms and the bruising just went away like a week ago and it took months for that to go away so I'm a little bit nervous to be doing another laser hair removal treatment but this is an at-home one and it seems easy so I'm trying it out but it's been such a struggle with laser hair removal I really wanted it I've spent so much time and money on it so hopefully this will be the solution yay it's Friday night I made it through the work week the first thing that I do when I get home on Fridays this is every week every Friday I do my laundry and I still have my coat on I still have my shoes on <laughs> and I've already started my laundry there's got to be a way that I can set a timer on my washing machine so that it just starts and it's done when I get home on Fridays but I cannot figure out how to do it I've tried looking it up online and it doesn't seem to work the way the online resources say that it should so I would love to figure that out but until then, I just start it as soon as I get home. So really excited because my FabFitFun box for winter 2019 just got here and I'm so excited to unbox this. So I am immediately going to run up and film my unboxing for YouTube. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So he rents a, a place to put filming and yeah, it's just one guy and there's no <laughs> Have you been on my YouTube channel before? Me? <laughs> you, you're the only one in the room. Hello? No. Thanks, James. You haven't been? Is this for YouTube? Yeah. Have I ever uploaded the Nashville vlogs before? I don't think so. Okay. I should introduce you. How are y'all? <laughs> it's, not, it's not on you yet. I'm doing an intro. Oh. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'd like to introduce the most handsome, sweetest, oh gosh, the most, <laughs> no, I can't, I can't do that. Perfect. Why won't you do you that? You want that on the internet? I don't think I can have swearing either. What? I don't think I can have swearing either. Why can't you have swearing? It's YouTube. It's not... Well, I can. It's not, it's not Nickelodeon. <laughs> this isn't Nickelodeon here. People swear I was all about the time to say, a one, a two, a skiddly diddly do. Yeah, same, same freaking SpongeBob here. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so it's still Friday night, and we just got back to my house. I'm here for the booze. That's from my Halloween party. I don't know what like what's a good angle with lighting and like weird stuff in the background, but So we went to a local Chinese food restaurant and I was like Queen of Sheba because when I got there James had my Mai Tai waiting for me Some food Who's Sheba? <laughs> Queen of Sheba. I don't even know Hello internet they don't answer. You just talked to them. No one answers. All right. This isn't a FaceTime. What's going on, people? Yeah, Friday night. What do we have tonight? Some Mai Tais? Yeah, typical Friday night. Yeah. In the lives of Christy and James. And then, uh, some White Claws. No shame. James black James. Cherry. Only Black what Cherry. What are you watching? Um, hold on. We're watching some daddy daycare. <laughs> I stole her phone. Hey, what are you making back there? Mac and cheese balls. Yeah, dude! <laughs> Okay, it's Saturday morning. I just got back from breakfast with James. 
I put a little clip in of our breakfast. It was so yummy. And now I'm finishing up my weekly cleaning. So every week I clean my entire house and I have a checklist of everything that I want to do. So I do everything from cleaning the shower, vacuuming everything, cleaning the microwave, the kitchen sink, everything. I'm super crazy about cleaning my new house. I moved in like three months ago, so I'm just obsessed with keeping it perfect, clean. And so now I'm just finishing up vacuuming. I'm almost done with all of the cleaning. It doesn't even take me that long because when I keep it clean, it's less time consuming to keep it clean than letting it get really messy, doing a deep clean. So I'm gonna keep vacuuming. And now I'm going to be swippering. And if you're wondering, I did spill ketchup on my shirt and I put some stain stick on it. So yeah, that's me. Hey there. <laughs> so after I finish like cleaning my house, oh, we're falling. Um, <laughs> getting my house all clean and organized and together, I like to. Oh my gosh, I can't talk without this falling. Uh, <laughs> I like to get myself all clean, do some self care. So I'm doing a mask right now. And look at how pretty it's got these like stars in it. This is the Tula Star Bright Nourishing and Brightening Cosmetic Hydrogel Mask that I just got in my BoxyCharm box. So my skin's been so dry lately that I wanted to put on a nice nourishing moisturizing mask. So I'm hoping this will do the trick. Then I'm gonna probably film some videos and get ready for the Friendsgiving. Now it's Sunday, which means football Sunday. I am of course a Patriots fan. Being from New England, we love our Patriots. And I, <laughs> I'm wearing Gostkowski's jersey. He's the kicker and he's out right now. He was not doing too well this season, but I got this jersey a few years ago when he was my favorite player. So I'm having James, his parents, his friend over to my house to watch the game today. It's a 4.30 game, which is perfect timing. I spent the morning filming videos. We went out to breakfast again. <laughs> so it's been a nice Sunday so far and I love just being able to relax and watch the football games. Hello everyone. The weekend went by in a blink of an eye. <laughs> that rhymed, I didn't even plan that. But so it's Monday morning now, it's 6 a.m. I just got back from my spin class and I ate so much junk food this weekend that I definitely felt it in my spin class. I felt super sluggish, but the Patriots won yesterday, so that's good. And it's Thanksgiving week, so it's a short week. I'll have Thursday and Friday off, so I'm really looking forward to a four day weekend. So it's back on that grind until Wednesday. So this is a picture that's on my 2019 vision board. I can show you like my whole vision board, do a video on that if you're interested. So let me know. But this is the closet that was on my vision board since before I even knew that I wanted to buy a house. And now I'm in my closet and I have like my dream shoe wall. I've got this huge walk-in closet that I did not expect to get this year, but you know, 
vision boards work maybe this is my first time ever having a vision board so it seems to be working really well this year it was a long Monday but now I'm home and I'm making breakfast for dinner because when I went out to breakfast I got a hash brown veggie scramble skillet and I had a bunch of leftovers so I'm recooking that and I added in some more scrambled eggs and cheese to mix in with my leftover hash browns and vegetables so I'm really excited for that I also made some vegetarian sausage patties so I just want to watch some Netflix and then I'll film some videos <laughs> so a typical Monday night made it through Monday Finishing up the day in front of my favorite place in my house. <laughs> no, I don't think I have a favorite place in my house. Like every spot in my house is my favorite. I need to do a house tour. Let me know if you'd want to see that. But so, I had a really long to-do list today. And I did not get to most of it. But it's so hard when it's pitch black out. When I leave work and it's cold. And it's been a long day because I wake up at 4.45. And I want to be in sleep by, in sleep, I want to be in bed by like 8.30. That gives me like no time at home to get things done. So I really shouldn't give myself such long to-do lists that stress me out when I don't get them done. But that's what happened today. So I'll have a muscle training class in the morning. I think it's leg day, which I don't even want to think about it because those are like the hardest workouts for me. But calling it a night, I think I'm going to vlog up until either the night before Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving. And then I'll start my next vlog, like weekly vlog after that. If you all like the vlogs, I really hope so because I've been really liking filming them. And I think that James is going to be a good <laughs> vlogger with me. Happy Tuesday. I just got back from my leg workout this morning. And we actually did it with resistance bands and I liked that so much more than the normal like cardio leg workout. So now I'm feeling really inspired to get some resistance bands and look up workouts and do some more resistance workouts on my own. So that was actually a great workout. I was pleasantly surprised. And now I'm making my morning coffee and I'm making some extra coffee this morning because it was so hard for me to wake up and yesterday I had my normal amount of coffee I use the here it is. I have this Lily Pulitzer coffee cup that I fill up but that was not enough coffee for me yesterday so I'm making a little extra this morning I'm on my lunch break and I'm gonna keep it totally honest I went to the Burger King drive through and got fast food for lunch because I am obsessed with the impossible Whopper like I want it all the time I think it's so good so if you haven't tried it yet I recommend it I did have James try it out and James loves to eat meat he loves like the regular Whopper and he still thought that this tasted good this feels like deja vu. I have my cookie dough cheesecake in the oven again for Thanksgiving. It's Tuesday night and I'm gonna try making salsa for the first time ever. So I have a ton of tomatoes. I have nine of these tomatoes and they're almost going bad so I need to find a use for them. I bought all those tomatoes because I made a pickle guacamole, but I don't have most of the ingredients left from that. Like I don't have avocados, I don't have onion, but I do have lots of pickles and lots of tomatoes. So I'm gonna try making a tomato salsa with pickles in it. But what I also don't have is a food processor. So I'm gonna put it in a blender. This could turn out terrible, but one of my favorite things to do is to look at the ingredients that I have and just try and make something from them. It's been something that's been really fun for me for a while. I used to keep a list of all of the food that I had in my house. And I would look at that list and be like, okay, what can I make from this list of food? And I would just use up 
as much as I could that way. So it's a fun little challenge for myself, but I'll show you how that goes. Okay, here we go. I'm nervous. All I have in here right now is two of the tomatoes, one pickle spear, a about a teaspoon of minced garlic. Okay, and I'm putting it in my little blender. Oh, the things that I'll do for the vlog. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. The texture, like I can t feel the bubbles. It's so liquidy. It's like a smoothie. The taste isn't that bad, but that texture is not going to work for me. I guess it's like a like a sauce. I made like a tomato sauce instead of a salsa. So maybe I do need to get a food processor if I want to make salsa. Oh man, I really thought that was gonna work. I guess I'm just gonna try and like dice up the tomatoes and maybe mix it in with this and try and make a salsa that way. I just hate wasting food too, so I wanna find a way to use these tomatoes. Okay, it's Wednesday morning. <laughs> While I'm waiting for my car to defrost, I just wanted to end my first weekly vlog here because then I wanna start a new vlog with all of the Thanksgiving festivities. But thank you so much for watching. And if you're celebrating Thanksgiving, if you're in America, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving with friends and family. And I look forward to seeing you in my next vlog.